Well, this is the first time I've been in the workshop for probably three months. You can probably, if maybe, see a very thin layer of corrosion on the mill. <clears throat> That's basically because I haven't been down here doing anything. I do apologise. Um, been through a bit of a rough time. I'm not going to go into any too much detail with it, but a few of you know that I got a severe back injury. But to go with it as well, um, probably for nearly three decades now, I've had a, a brain condition, which basically stops me from doing anything for weeks or months. I get severe, violent attacks of pain multiple times a day. And I'm just coming out of it now, after an awful long time on some really nasty medication, oxygen, injections... Um, and it's now warm enough for me to come into the workshop because unfortunately cold is one of the triggers. I had a little thought the other day. This little set up here is something that all of us have to do. And when you're limited with time, like I am mostly, trying to get something <coughs> which you can't sit on parallels because it's an odd angle, you've always got to use the indicator. And I know this is the conventional method. At this moment in time, I just haven't got the patience or the manual dexterity to get it set up pro uh, properly. So I thought about making something, which is I'm going to show you now. So the first thing I needed to do was take a piece of hex bar and turn it down on the lathe to the size of one of these ER32 collets. Now, I would have used round bar, but I didn't have any. So hex is what I had to use. The next part is this square, and I use the word square very loosely, because it is actually square there, but along the outside edge, and this being a plate square, that's most of the time you use it, isn't. So I'm going to repurpose it, and you'll see what I'm going to do with it next. What I did forget to add in the description was... I needed to add a slot, which has now been done. So, if we look at the square, if you notice the square edge has been cut off, and it's also been parted. So my idea is to mount this onto there, and then set it up in the milling machine directly down onto the bed, because I know that my milling machine is trammed in just about spot on. You see where I'm coming from in the next bed. So back at the mill, I put my little gadget in a collet. I put the light behind to see if you can get some sort of definition across the actual um, table on the mill. So as I bring the table or the quill down, you can see I've got contact to stay on the right hand side, and I've got to find air gap on this side. If I press now, squeeze it all the way home, that blade is now parallel to the table. Now, this is not going to be easy to do because I might disturb it because, like I said, it's not fixed. If I turn it sideways, no air gap. And if I turn it through another 90 degrees, bring it back down, no air gap and no movement. This will need Loctite in, left to set, and then drilled and pinned. But the advantage with this, once it's all finished, if I drop the table down a little, if I wanted to set, say this 60 degree plate, and wanted to machine that, I'd have to tram it. Now, all I need to do is set it to the underside of there, and it's near as damn it. It's not going to be micro accurate. We're not talking tenths or anything like this. This is if you want to just set some of the quick, take a parallel skim. That's the idea. Once it's all together, glued, screwed, bolted, I'll do a little demo and I'll see if I can set something up and then indicate after. So last going off, um, I'm going to say bye bye to my trusty steed. That's what keeps me down here. And I'd like to say thank you to all the new subscribers. Again, even though I haven't been producing anything for the last couple of months because of... Uh, my lack of abilities, um, the subs still keep rolling in. So many, many thanks to all those people who have subscribed. Also, I'd like to say a big thank you to Paul, 
the shed dweller who came down with his lovely wife and spent a good part of a day. I really, really enjoyed our company. I haven't been out of the house for probably four or five weeks by that time. And also to Ollie from Ollie's workshop who came down, brought some goodies and he brought down a quarter of a gallon of what I thought was cutting oil. It actually turned out to be cider. It smelled terrible, but it tasted lovely. So until the next time, thanks again, and I'll try and get something out really quick. Later.